Hi, this is Sean here with another quick hit. Today I want to just take a brief mention about subtext and the power of subtext. Uh, often when we're trying to move an audience, we try to write dialogue that moves them, dialogue that tells them how to feel, and that's often a mistake to do. What you want to do is you want to communicate your emotion more through the subtext. If you ever have any doubt about the power of subtext, I suggest you listen to music being sung in a language you do not know and see if if it moves you. If it moves you, it's moving you by subtext. Uh, here's a, a music video that I just watched that moved my wife and I. We had no idea what she was singing about, but we could tell how it moved the audience uh, and it moved us. Um, and then we went back and, and looked at a little bit at the history of it and found out even more about why it's moving. It's not moving because of the lyrics that she's singing, but it's a move because of a combination of the lyrics uh, and the real meaning of what's really going on around the song. So when you're writing your scenes, don't be thinking about how can you explain what's going on to your audience so they understand everything. Think instead about how you can combine what's not being said, what's being talked about around, and what the circumstances are that's being summed up in the words, in the lyrics, that are not direct, but are carrying it through the power. So listen to music <laughs> with lyrics in a language you don't understand, and you'll start to understand subtext. This has been another quick hit. We'll